Women and girls are leaders, change makers, caretakers, and peacekeepers. But while they have an empowered role in our societies, to this day, women and girls are still forced to fight for their rights. How much progress have we achieved? And how much work remains? How can you carry on the fight for equal rights? Women struggle for equal rights a centuries old. But 1848 marked a watershed moment for women's rights with the Seneca Falls Convention, where women activists publicly petitioned for their civil, social, political, and religious rights. In 1893, New Zealand sent a message to other activists across the world that equal voting rights were achievable through advocacy. Entering the 20th century, women around the world are mobilizing in ever greater numbers to campaign for gender equality. Just as women's role in the labor force is rapidly evolving by opening up options beyond caretaking roles. In 1945, the United Nations is formed in response to the destructive toll of two world wars, and Eleanor Roosevelt oversees the drafting of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. For all the world to hear, she and other advocates underline the place of women's rights within. This sets a foundation for women's rights norms and standards at the international level. In the subsequent decades, just as women are taking historic leadership positions in government, women activists at the grassroots level dovetail with the worldwide momentum by becoming powerful symbols of feminist resistance and social change. This momentum reaches a climax in 1995 when the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action presents a visionary global agenda for women and girls' rights. But in spite of all the progress, as we enter the 21st century, patriarchal stigmas persist and exemplary leaders arise to resist them. With the rise of the digital age, social media emerges as a crucial tool to galvanize populations in the fight against injustice. A single woman's voice is now louder than ever. Grassroots activists trigger social movements online and offline, from cities to villages, inspiring future generations of women and girl leaders. After relentless campaigning, these movements generate changes in policy that signal a true shift in international attitudes and practice towards equal rights. Where are we now? A quarter century after the Beijing Declaration, women and men must mobilize together to overcome the remaining obstacles to gender equality. They must fight for an end to gender-based violence, for access to health care, for equal pay, and for equal participation in political life. The ink isn't dry. Be a part of Generation Equality and let us continue to write history together.